Well, hi, I'm John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Look, today we're talking about the trap bar and specifically how it's used for the trap bar deadlift. So let's look at this piece of equipment, first of all. Uh, shaped usually multi sides in a big ring around an individual. Hex usually means that we have uh, six sides to it. And the reason why people are so attracted to it is that they can stand in the middle of it and instead of doing deadlifts with the bar in front of them and their hands in front of them, they can keep them to their sides. And so it's a little bit more convenient. They don't have to bend over as much at the start of the exercise. And that sounds like a good move. It sounds like a good reason to do this exercise. It sounds like a good reason to use this bar. Unfortunately, the reality is, is when a lot of people go to use this exercise and the hex bar with those hands down at their sides, which, by the way, is set at an arbitrary distance, okay? The, the hex bar generally has a fixed handle on each side, so it doesn't matter how tall you are, how short you are, how wide you are, your grip is going to be dictated by where the handles are, and that's it. So if they're three feet wide to your side, four feet wide to your side, that's where you're going to grip the handles. doesn't matter if you're a big man, a little woman, uh, size does not matter in this case. So that I see as a negative. So it does not fit all people. With a barbell, you can choose your grip. Narrow, wide, anywhere you want to put it. Whatever's comfortable for your shoulders, whatever's comfortable for your spacing of your legs. And that I see as an advantage with a barbell, the regular plane barbell, seven foot barbell. Now we're talking about, well, trap bar deadlifts though. What's the problem with the exercise? And I see this a lot in the gym. I'm going to flash a few pictures up on the screen so you can see how generally this has got to be one of the most abused exercises on the planet. If you were to do trap bar deadlifts the way that they're intended to be used with a nice flat back, you're over, grabbing onto the bar, in a nice squat position, and you stand up appropriately with your hip coming up underneath you, then I do see this as a fairly safe exercise if you maintain that form using moderate weight. Now, what happens when you use too massive of a weight? I've seen this time and time again. It does not matter if we're talking about experienced lifters, we're talking about uh, high school football players. Uh, I think that has to be the biggest group. Uh, that may be abusing uh, that exercise. For some reason, a lot of high school football coaches in the United States have fallen in love with the trap bar. They see it as a safer alternative to the barbell deadlift. And in fact, uh, I've seen one teenage boy after another come up with that rounded back and still rounded, even when they're all the way up at the top and not, never get their hips underneath them. And as you see in these pictures, that I'm flashing on by the screen, it, it looks pretty dangerous with that rounded back. Again, teenage football players are got, have got to be the biggest abusers of this exercise. Um, generally not so supervised by their coaches, generally speaking. Generally egged on by their teammates to push really hard. So anybody can fall you know, to this, this habit of having a bad form when you do this trap bar deadlift just by being overly encouraged, putting on too much weight on the bar, um, rounding that back. Of course, that could happen with a barbell too. But the ease with which this is done using the hex bar, to me, just throws it pshht, way off the scale of danger, danger, danger. Once you blow those discs, once you blow a disc, unfortunately, that one is not going to be a quick repair. So a disc injury could be for life. For a lot of people, it is. And I just don't see the benefits outweighing the risk on that one exercise unless you use moderate weights and then do it with that nice flat back, keep your hips underneath you, and bam, stand up and bring those hips right underneath your shoulders at the top position. You can use it, the hex bar to do a squat motion, holding the weight, of course, down at your sides with those handles that it has. Using it as a squat motion is pretty good. It's a good leg exercise, actually. 
If you use some straps to hold on to the, to the hex bar, then you can hold on throughout an entire set until your legs are actually done. And as long as the spacing of the handles fits your width and the grip is not pulling, straining any mus muscles up alongside your neck unnecessarily, then it's a pretty good exercise for doing legs. Doing the deadlift with it, I just don't see. Uh, unless you're suited perfectly for that parallel grip, the width of that grip, if you're suited perfectly for it, then I suppose it could be a good deadlift motion, but I don't think that it surpasses the barbell in any way. The barbell's been used for decades and successfully, I might, might add. Um, and it's a measurable way to lift and lower the weight. You can feel the bar up against your shin. You can feel it. You know you're hitting the right spot when you hit the floor because the bar is right up against your shin. You can begin the repetition in a perfect position because you know the handles, everything, your hands, everything, the bar is right up against your shin and you're ready to stand up with it. And like, like an old powerlifting friend of mine taught me in the very, very beginning when I started working out, he said, scrape the hair off your shins. And he didn't mind if you bled a little bit too, for that matter. So if you bled out of your shins, he used to say, hmm, you did them right. <laughs> so that was just a fun way of him trying to encourage using really great form. So that's it. That's my big beef with the hex bar is that uh, it encourages poor form. That's it right there. So therefore, I don't use it and I don't use it on my clients. I have used it to do shrugs because I was suited for those handles and I could use them in a proper way to do shrugs with the bar. Uh, otherwise, I used it for nothing because the grip just didn't feel right to me for anything else. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, John Hart, listen before you go. Off to my left, you're going to see this disc pop up. That is the subscribe button for my channel. Please give it a shot. Just tap that thing, won't you? It lets you YouTube know to notify you when I have new videos pop up. And then down below, off there to your left, you're going to see a thumbs up button. Why don't you tap that and give that a blue color before you leave. That lets the YouTube algorithm know how much you're liking my videos, and it lights the thing up and makes it really, really happy. And then we're happy over here at MrAmericaHeart.com. That's it from my heart to you. See you soon.